Sullivan, I work with Shire Housing and I'm here today to work with other housing associations across Ayrshire to generate our own piece of history. Um, it is a historic location from this spot. Um, a long time ago, Robert Burns sent his famous Kilmarnock edition to his publishers. We've got together working with the SFHA uh, to devise our own Kilmarnock declaration calling for further investment in affordable housing across Scotland. We then the signed housing associations in Ayrshire from the same spot on the anniversary of myself, Robert Burns, sending my manuscripts of my famous Kilmarnock edition of poems to my Kilmarnock publishers, calling the government at the local Scottish and UK level to give urgent attention to the housing crisis which is affecting Ayrshire. Um, all of us have come together today with politicians of all parties um, to talk about how we can work together to deliver housing to the range of disparate communities across Ayrshire where it's desperately needed. I'm uh, Jackie Watt. I am the Chief Executive of the Scottish Federation of Housing Associations, the SFHA. And today we have been launching our campaign in Ayrshire for the year of the homecoming. We are keen to lobby all governments, the UK government and the Scottish government, on the importance of increasing the supply of affordable housing in Scotland. We want to see 10,000 new homes built in the next few years for rent, new high quality affordable homes, and we believe that there needs to be a greater share of the national budget allocated to enable our housing associations to do just that. It would mean us doubling the production of homes but it's an ambitious target, but one that we can deliver on if we can get cross-party consensus and the political will to deliver What this uh, campaign is about is about homes, jobs and communities. And that, I think, has been the theme. I mean, it's probably, there are probably a lot of us in this room who remember, because I certainly do, in the 1950s, the transformation, that climbing onto the back of Frew's coal lorry to flip from a single line in Bogle Mart Street to a new council house in uh, Ford Crescent and Stevenson had on my mother and father and the six of us, I have to say, I mean, it did transform our lives to move from tenement dwelling to a house that had the back and front garden. My name's Frank Sweeney, I'm the Chief Executive of Cunningham Housing Association and we operate in the geographical areas of North and East Ayrshire. My role here today was to speak on behalf of the housing associations that operate in all of Ayrshire. Uh, we require consistency of funding over a five-year period. We require significant increases in that funding, and that will allow uh, ourselves, in partnership with our local, our local authority partners, to effectively plan uh, the programmes for new built housing so that we achieve value for money and in Ayrshire terms we address uh, the huge demands on all three councils waiting lists which currently stand at 16,000 houses. I'm Linda Fabiani, a um, member of the Scottish Parliament for Central Scotland for the Scottish National Party. I also worked in housing for many, many years so it's, it's a, a real pleasure to be here today and to see the work that's been done collectively to try and boost affordable housing in Scotland. Great venue here for Ayrshire because it's a real legacy of burns with the houses that are here. We should be building on that.